Hello Mouses, it's Wednesday, it's Strange Laws Day and I wanted to start by talking about this strange law from Samoa where it's apparently illegal to forget your wife's birthday. However, I can't find any evidence that this is actually true. So instead of talking about that because I really want to laugh at laws that we actually have something to back them up, I'm going to talk about the five strangest laws that I can find from England and Wales. Now the first one I want to talk about is just plain strange. It is illegal to handle salmon in suspicious circumstances. <laughs> I kid you not, suspicious handling of salmon is a crime in the UK. It comes under section 32 of the Salmon Act of 1986 and I kid you not, this is a real thing. And I'm going to quote you exactly what it actually means. You see, I have a computer. It must be legitimate. Section 32, subsection 1. Subject to subsection 3 and 4 below, a person shall be guilty of an offence if, at a time when he believes it would be reasonable for him to suspect that a relevant offence has at any time been committed in relation to any salmon, he receives the salmon or undertakes or assists in its retention, removal or disposal by or for the benefit of another person, or if he arranges to do so. So there you have it, handling salmon in suspicious circumstances. Okay, there's a rumour been going around for quite some while now that it is illegal to flag down a taxi if you suffer from the plague. Now, this isn't quite true. You can flag a taxi down and if the driver is informed that you have the plague, he is then under no obligation to carry you, but if he wishes to do so, for example, he's taking you to hospital, then he's allowed to do that. This comes under the Public Health Control of Disease Act of 1984. We have, seem to have a lot of strange laws coming out of the 80s, where he can take you if he wants, but he has to be notified. He then has to notify the local authority and disinfect the taxi before he can take anyone else. So, it seems fair enough. However, if he was a bus driver rather than a taxi driver, he's not allowed to pick you up. Okay, let's move on to the third of our funny laws. It is illegal under the Licensing Act of 1872 to be drunk in charge of a horse. It's not limited to horses, however. It's also illegal to be a drunk in charge of a carriage, a cow, a steam engine, or a loaded firearm. You can see why, can't you? I mean, we still have drunk driving laws here, but it just seems funny that we've specifically said you can't have a horse if you're drunk. Now, sticking with the drunken theme, we have Number four, it is illegal to be drunk on licensed premises. It comes from the same act, the Licensing Act of 1872, and if you get drunk on licensed premises, it is actually a crime. It's a crime that gives you a penalty, so you're not going to go to jail for this, you're going to get a fine. However, it goes even further than that. The Licensing Act of 2003 makes it an offence to sell intoxicating liqueurs to someone who is drunk. Not just the intoxicating liqueurs, it could be other things like beers, wine, things like that. It's also an offence under the same act to procure alcohol for someone who is drunk. So if you're too drunk to go and get served at the bar and then your friend goes and gets you a drink, they've committed a crime. Okay, fifth and final one for today's funny laws. It is illegal in England and Wales to carry a plank down the pavement. This comes under Section 54 of the Metropolitan Police Act 1839, and it's basically about blocking the pavement for proper use. And we're not just limiting this to planks. Flying kites is also an offence. So is sliding on snow and ice, or playing annoying games. Now this one I love. The, what, what's an annoying game? Is it an annoyance to the general public, or is it a specific definition of annoyance? I'm really going to have to go and look this up, because I want to know, it sounds so funny, but playing annoying games. So. Is hopscotch annoying? Or are we talking about uh, something like British Bulldog where it's quite rowdy? Or a game of football? Or a boxing match? What if it was a boxing match where people were trying to avoid people walking around with planks in some kind of slapstick comedy? That would be totally illegal. And it just brings so many funny things to mind. Like what were 19th century people doing that they had to have a law against carrying a plank down the street? It just seems very strange to me, but hey, that is how it is. That's weird laws for England and Wales, and I hope you did like them. If you did, remember to click the like button and share it with your friends so that they don't fall a cropper of some of these strange things as well. And do subscribe for future videos because we will have more in the future. But until next time, I've been Zerko Robinson. You've been watching the North Mouse Show, and I'll see you tomorrow.